So now for the fun part, um, now for the main wing. When you, well, what I generally do is when I work with a with a married wing fly, I generally look for the tippets that's got that bit of a curve in it. It just sits nicely on the top of the shank and it just it gives it a nice flow as opposed to these straight ones. Um, what you also want to look for is look for the same length you want to take it more or less it needs to be balanced it needs to be a matched pair a perfectly matched pair as you can see this it's perfect it's a, it's a perfect perfect match you can see the bars are running equally um, and the reason for that is if it's not the stronger one will push the weaker one out so when you mount your wing for example if you look at the fly if you mount your wing and you've got a strong feather it's going to push it out and your married wing is not going to sit straight on it. Uh, also try and get your, your tippets from the same same head. I like to match mine and then put a little sleeve. There's my sleeve. And then I just put in a little envelope, uh, all my matched pairs. So again, what I'm looking for on this fly is a nice curved one, which I prepped over there. You can see it's nice and curved and let me show you how to how to mount it so when it comes to mounting your tippet um, it's quite important to not have that built up over there because when you tie it down putting a bit of pressure on the thread is going to kick your whole tippet up you want the tippet to not lie nice and flush against there so what i've done is i've just created a little bit of a path where my tippet's going to run through using a bit my little brush and I'm just going to build it up just a little bit front there with wax thread because the wax is going to help it so it doesn't slip and then my tippets that I've matched I want to try and get that black bar to be over the butt and make sure that it doesn't cross you don't want, you don't want the stems to cross Just a couple of wraps. And use your nail, or well, sometimes use a tweezer, just to push them together. And if you see it sitting just a little bit over the butt, just play with the front section over there until it's dead center. Uh, yeah. And if you have a look, center. And then in this game, I can see it's just leaning over a little bit. Just fiddle it. Don't be scared to handle your feathers. It's just feathers. Work with it and manipulate it to do what you want it to do. That's better. And then working with tippets. Spit it your friend. So you're just gonna run it on top of the edge so it's nice and smooth and it gives it that curve. And there's my tippet. Uh, one thing I did forget to mention is when I look for my tippet, I remember I said in the beginning I don't like my flies to be quite high. I also don't like cutting my tippets to fit to the shape that I want it to be or to the size I've choose the correct size tippet and I generally don't want my tippet to be any higher than that gap over there because my wing is going to run flush on top so when I tent it and I mount it it's going to be at the top it's going to run exactly over there so I don't want my, the top of my wing to be any higher than that gap I like a, a thinner profile Again, this is totally up to you. Um, it's your choice how you want to tie it. Uh, this is just the way I like to tie my flies. This is the scary part. So I'll do the, the video just now of how you build your wing. And I just need to line these guys up. 
You want to make sure they don't overlap. And what I'm going to aim for is my wing to come to about there. It needs to be just past the bend of the hook. I'm going to open this up and place it over. Usually I would tent it and then go from the top, but because it's not going to be too high, I'm just going to open it up. Okay, again, look for the length. And another important thing is, don't use wax on your thread now. You want this to slip down properly. You don't want it to roll over. So the technique that I'm using is called the drop bobbin technique. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to roll the edge forward. Sorry, my hand's in the way. And I'm going to grip it. Grip it again. Again. And I'm holding on for dear life with my left hand. So all, the reason why it's called drop bobbin, so it's the weight of the bobbin that's going to pull the, the fibers down. While you roll the fibers forward. So you're compressing the fibers as you go. Now I'm going to give it one turn. Realign again. And give it three or four turns. And I'm just going to Pray for dear life that it sits nicely and I'm gonna let go. Okay, that is what you don't want. That fold there. And that's only because I moved it over the hackle, over the, the tippet stems. So I'm going to redo that part. And I'm going to try but not to hook on there. Otherwise you're going to fold in your your hack, your your wing. Okay, let's see how it goes now. Hopefully better. I must have tied like a hundred married wing flies already and I still can't. I still get nervous when I do it. And that is better. Yeah, not too bad. I'm going to walk away from the fly now, just to sit and think if I should redo it or not. But it is sitting nice and flush against the, the underwing. And I will come back with fresh eyes and just manipulate it so it sits nice. And don't be hasty. Take your time. You've taken your time up until now to tie the fly. Make it look good. So I'm going to step away and see what I think. Let's talk about um, making the wing quickly. Uh, this is not what's in the materials called for, but this is just going to be a quick uh, demonstration of how you how you do your, your married wing. So what you've got here, we've got uh, peacock and we've got turkey feathers. Um, when you do your married wing flies, I do a tips up. You'll probably hear the phrase tips up, tips down. Uh, my wing is tips up when I do a married wing fly. So the way you're going to do that is, is by taking your the right hand side of your feather and that's going to go on the far side on the fly, the, the side on the furthest away from you. Your left hand side feathers of, of the feather will be your near side. And I'm going to show you now quickly just how to, to marry your, your feathers to get your wing. Okay, so typically what you're going to do is you're going to decide how many fibers you're going to need from each feather. 
So we're just going to do a quick, uh, just a, a thing that I wanted to explain. When you build your wing, when you build your wing, you can see the edge of the feather. And that is basically the edge that you want to simulate. So I'm going to choose just a quick one. This is just for demonstration purposes. Just take off some there. In fact, let me take off a nice big piece, a big chunk. It's just off-cut feathers that I put in a in a box. But I little flies. And I'm gonna do the same from the turkey. Just a nice big slab quickly. So now obviously this is gonna go on the outside. So I generally just turn my my feathers around. Peacock is usually quite short. It's not often that you'll find fibers longer than a little fit a four over hook. And what I'm going to look for now is now I'm going to take the tip of the top section of the feather and I'm going to place it at the bottom of the other one of the turkey. And I'm going to marry those. So as you can see now. There's a bit of a recurve in these feathers. That's why they're not being used. So as you can see, it's following the edge of what a normal feather would look like. Just a little hint, um, if your feathers aren't matching, or if they're not marrying, it's probably because you've got a right and left mixed up. So when you cut your feathers, your, your strands for your feathers, get a little box that you can keep all your lefts in and all your rights in, and that will just make it a lot easier. So that is how I built the wing for the Harlequin, which this is now the one that I've taken off, first attempt. Didn't like the way it sat, was maybe just a little bit too short. I could go and steam it, <clears throat> but I thought, no, let me just rather build a new one. And also the edge that I had on this one isn't what I wanted. And then there's your, your wing. So if I had to marry these guys up, I placed in there. And there's my far, far side of the feather of the wing.